The Influencer Olympics took place this past weekend, and as always, a lot of drama happened. It's a mess, so let's get into it. I feel like every single year, whenever Coachella comes around, there's always some type of drama that happens or something goes wrong and blows up online. Last year, the huge drama of Coachella was the Revolve Festival. Every year, Revolve puts on their own version of Coachella during weekend one. They have shuttle buses that take influencers from Coachella to their event, and that's where everything went wrong last time. The event reached capacity quickly, so the shuttle services weren't able to transport more people to the event, leaving all these people stranded in the heat, not knowing what was going on. Obviously not wanting a repeat of last year, Revolve decided to make a change. They invited less people this time around and said it was going to be a much more intimate event. They had Kendall Jenner there with her tequila brand 818, Charlie and Dixie were there, and even Hailey Bieber with a booth for Road Skin. And from looking at all the videos on TikTok, it looks like everything went down pretty smoothly and no one had any complaints. But there was some drama when it comes to Kendall and Haley. As you guys know, the influencers usually go all out for their outfits for Coachella. They have fun putting together something really creative and memorable, and Kendall used to really play into that. When Kendall first started to go to Coachella, she was always seen dressed in the best outfits, but this year, she took a step back from that. Kendall was wearing a t-shirt and jeans, and a lot of people were really bored by her. Uh, I'm so bummed by Kendall's Coachella looks because they're just so boring. Like, even Bad Bunny's look next to her is so... It's a little bit better. I mean, like, he has a little print on his top. Now that the A-listers are, like, going so casual. Because they have the most access to, like, the craziest pieces and can afford the craziest stuff. And they just have been going so casual. Like, what the She wears better looks, like, out on the street every single time she's pa paparazzi. Hailey Bieber did the same thing. In previous years, Haley has gone all out for Coachella, but this year, she took a more relaxed approach. Did I miss a memo or something? Because why is everybody's outfits so casual this year? Now, did Kylie and Haley coordinate outfits or something? Because they almost look like they're wearing the exact same thing. I give them both one out of 10. I kind of feel like we've been seeing this for a while from celebrities. Once influencers started going and putting a lot of effort into their outfits, it became uncool for them to do that since they were already famous. I saw a TikTok the other day that described it perfectly. A lot of people are criticizing Kendall, Haley, Kylie for dressing very boring and very simple at Coachella this year, but honestly, I think they did the perfect thing for themselves, and if I was their PR advisor, I would have advised them to do the exact same thing. Yes, Coachella's a festival, people are there to attend concerts, have fun, yeah, that's all nice and good, but at the end of the day, if you're trying to be famous or you are famous, Coachella is one of the biggest PR events of the year. Every influencer is there trying to show off their best outfit, get as much publicity as possible, and at the end of the day, they're all being compared to each other. And this mattered once upon a time for them because the Kardashians built their entire careers off of PR moves. Like, they always understood how to get and utilize publicity to their advantage. So when Kendall, Kylie, Haley were trying to build a name for themselves, they partook in this entire PR campaign around Coachella. They had the stylists and the outfits, and they always made sure they were some of the best dressed at Coachella, which is exactly what all the influencers you follow and love are doing right now on social media. However, the issue with that is that then these girls are at the same level as those influencers. Like, if they're also trying to make a name for themselves and look really cool and get photographed, then they're placing themselves at the same level as other influencers. But the whole point of Kendall and Haley and Kylie's entire identities, personal brands, is that they're not the same as other influencers. They're on a completely different level. They're A-list celebrities. They don't want to be photographed and be seen all over social media. They don't want to look like they're dressing up for your approval or to make your best dress list. So by dressing like this and not playing the game that everyone else is playing at one of the most important PR and social events of the entire year, they're differentiating themselves and saying like, we're not like you. Which makes total sense to me. They're just trying to blend in and not look like they're trying too hard like a lot of the influencers do. The next drama has to do with Haley and a video someone took of her at Coachella. This girl was going around filming herself with all these different celebrities that she met or saw, and one of them was Haley Bieber. David Dobrik and Noah Beck. Haley Bieber. And right away, all the comments were saying how mean Haley looked and how she seemed completely unapproachable. One person said, Haley being the mean girl she is. Haley giving off her welcoming, sweet vibes. And the creator responded saying, I was scared. But I mean, I feel like you could record anyone in the sun and heat and easily get a video of them looking mean. There's other videos of Haley going around saying hi to her fans and she seemed fine. Haley, we love you. You're so pretty. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and guess that she was most likely just caught at a bad moment with like the sun in her eyes or something, and it wasn't her being mean or unapproachable. The next drama that happened was surprisingly with Alex Earl. Alex Earl literally came out of nowhere last year, and now she's massive, so it's no wonder she was invited to Coachella by guests, along with other huge influencers. David Dobrik and the entire vlog squad also got invited to Coachella with guests, and David was posting Alex all over his Snapchat story. Night one of Coachella hasn't even started, but the drama has. Fans are mad when they realize that Alex Earl was doing Coachella weekend with the vlog squad. In her defense, they're all staying at the guest compound. She then even confirmed it. And then I went to David Dobrik's Snapchat because I knew he was going to exploit the out of her. And of course I was right, like. A lot of people assume that this meant David and Alex were really good friends and they were doing Coachella together. And that made some people upset with Alex. But Alex wasn't posting that much about David. She only has one single video where you can see the vlog squad in it. This was the only post she had of the vlog squad. It's very interesting because it does not seem like she wants to associate with them on social media. What are your thoughts? where David's entire Snapchat was literally the Alex Earl show. I think David knows how huge Alex is right now, and he's pretty much exploiting her on his Snapchat to rake in the views on his story. I think David saw this as the perfect opportunity to get new eyes on him and his group of friends. He knows Alex fans are gonna see her in the thumbnails on his story, they're going to click it, and he's gonna profit heavily from that. I don't think Alex is like super close with him and went there with the group. There were so many other influencers at the guest compound and I'm sure Alex didn't have any control over their guest list. The next Coachella drama comes from James Charles. Every single year, James seems to find himself in some type of drama right around Coachella time and this year was actually a little bit different. James, well, James Charles attended Coachella as always, and that's exactly what he did. I don't think he had a proper booth or anything like that, but he posted this photo to Instagram and said, brought some paints to the festival today to glam you guys. He's definitely been creative when it comes to marketing his brand, and even though face paint isn't exactly the most popular thing to launch your brand with, I think if he keeps showing people how they can use it for events or even everyday life, it will really benefit him. He even ended up using his brand on himself for his own Coachella look. Now it's time we talk about the biggest Coachella drama of 2023, and so far, I think that goes to Frank Ocean. Frank Ocean was performing for the first time in six years, and he was doing it at Coachella, so you can only imagine how excited people were for this. People were camped out for hours in the heat just to get a good spot, and it looked absolutely packed. Oh my God. <laughs> Unfortunately for the people who lined up, it looks like they weren't happy with his performance. The first issue was with the live stream. Apparently his performance was supposed to be live streamed from Coachella's YouTube channel, and it ended up getting canceled last minute. YouTube tweeted, Frank Ocean is not scheduled to appear on the Coachella live stream. The current schedule is in the description. Not only was the live stream canceled, but he was also an hour late to his performance and everyone in the crowd was so confused about what was going on. When he did come on, people said they were so confused by his performance as well. You couldn't see him on stage, he was sitting down at some parts, all you could see was the screen with a bunch of people walking around in circles. Everyone is mad at Frank Ocean. We're leaving Coachella right now, and this is why. All right, I'm gonna start off by saying Frank was over an hour late, and people got there as early as 8 a.m. today. Secondly, he only performed for about 30 minutes max. Only did three of his popular songs. And the biggest thing is he never came out. He was behind the screen the whole entire time. To end things off, the performance was cut short since he was an hour late to his set, and there's curfews at Coachella for noise. Frank Ocean announcing curfew. Guys, I'm being told it's curfew, so that's the end of the show. Thank you so much. Obviously, most people there were so upset. People waited in line all day, they camped out, it was hot and miserable out, and they didn't get the performance they were hoping for. According to sources close to Festival Owl, Frank Ocean completely changed his set on the day of his performance, which ultimately made him late and threw everything else off. 
They wrote, I've been speaking with sources about exactly what transpired and how things went so far downhill Sunday for Frank Ocean at Coachella, so here you go. This stage production was supposed to, and did, contain an ice rink that was constructed and ready to go. Frank decided at that last minute that he no longer wanted it at all. All the people walking around him at the start of the performance were actually ice skaters and had been practicing for weeks, and were supposed to be skating as part of the production. Coachella had to deconstruct the approved stage that had been planned and signed off on for months in advance plus melt the entire ice rink and then set it up how Frank decided today with no warning. Which is what you ended up seeing, and it caused the hour-long delay. This all happened when doors had already opened for Sunday and people were securing their spots to see him. If the last minute changes weren't made, he wouldn't have performed at all, leaving the festival without a closing headliner. Frank also personally pulled the plug at the last second on the live stream, which left a very sour taste and many inside Coachella's mouth. Ultimately, and I quote, it just didn't seem like he wanted to be there, but was obligated to be. Everything, including him, fell apart last minute. Even though a lot of people were upset by his performance, Justin Bieber, who was in the crowd, actually came to his defense. He took to Instagram and wrote, I was blown away by Frank Ocean's Coachella performance. His artistry is simply unmatched. His style, his taste, his voice, his attention to detail. I was deeply moved. It made me want to keep going and get better as an artist. He continues to set the bar high and gave me a night I will never forget. Thanks, Frank. As for now, Frank is still scheduled to play Weekend 2 of Coachella, and so far there hasn't been any word about him dropping out of that or what. Paper Magazine actually released an update on what might have happened to him, and they wrote, According to a source close to Frank Ocean, the rumors can be laid to rest. The singer reportedly suffered an ankle injury in the weeks leading up to his performance during on-site rehearsals. As a result, production had to be adjusted to accommodate his injury. So yeah, Coachella definitely had some drama this year, but I don't think it seemed as bad as it has in previous years. Normally, we always get some major drama around Coachella time, but the biggest drama seems to be lying with the celebrities this year instead of the influencers for a change. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about everything down below, and I'll see you next time.